Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to simplify this given problem 4 power negative 1 over 4 times the square root of 14 power 4 plus 114 power 4 plus 100 power 4. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we are dealing with this challenging problem, so we are going to think outside the box and we're going to use basic algebra. Here's our very first step. Let's focus on this part, 4 power negative 1 over 4. And here I have copied it down and let's focus on its base 4. 4 could be written as 2 power 2 and then we're going to take power negative 1 over 4. And now let's recall this power rule. So we are going to multiply their exponents. So we can write down 2 power 2 times negative 1 over 4. And now we can make its exponent positive by just putting the other way around. 1 divided by 2 power 1 over 2. And finally 2 power 1 over 2 could be written as square root of 2. So therefore this whole thing is going to become 1 divided by square root of 2. So therefore this whole thing has been simplified to 1 divided by square root of 2. As you can see in this next step I have replaced this part by this simplified one in the front. And now let's recall this basic rule this part has been simplified to this one. So therefore we can write this one the square root of 14 power 4 plus 114 power 4 plus 100 power 4 divided by 2. And now here's our next step. Let's focus on this numerator part this one and here I have copied it down and let's go ahead and manipulate this one and let's focus on this 114 this could be written as 14 plus 100 so therefore we can write this expression as 14 power 4 plus 14 plus 100 whole power 4 plus 100 power 4. Now let's go ahead and make a substitution to make our job easier. Let me go ahead and call this 14 as our a. Then this 14 is going to be a as well. Let me go ahead and call 100 as our b. Then this 100 is going to become b as well. Therefore let me go ahead and write down a equals to 14 and b equals to 100. So therefore our expression could be written as a power 4 plus uh, this is going to become a plus uh, b power 4 plus uh, b power 4 as well. Here in this next step I have rearranged these terms. I have brought this a plus b power 4 in the front. Now let's go ahead and expand this binomial a plus b power 4. Now let's recall this famous Pascal's triangle. We are going to make a use of this triangle to expand this uh, binomial. Now let me go over this Pascal triangle pretty quick. Uh, you can see that uh, at the boundary we got all ones and keeps going on and on and on. Likewise on this side we see all ones and it keeps going on and on. Now if we look at this one plus 1 is going to give us a 2 in the middle at the bottom and this pattern is going to be same all along. Let's look at this 4 plus 6 is going to give us 10 in the middle at the bottom and now let's look at this first row 1 corresponds to power 0, this row corresponds to power 1, this corresponds to power 2, this corresponds to power 3 and this corresponds to power 4 and since we are dealing with this uh, power 4 over here so we're going to look at uh, this uh, row and the numbers we're going to see 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Therefore I'm going to write down those numbers 1, 4, 
सिक्स फोर वन नाउ सिंस वी वन एक्सपैंड दिस ए प्लस बी होल पावर फोर सो आम गोन राइट डाउन राइट ओवर हेयर ए पावर फोर देन आम गोन राइट डाउन ए पावर थ्री एंड देन आम गोन राइट डाउन ए पावर टू एंड देन आम गोन राइट डाउन ए पावर वन And let's go from the right hand side. I'm going to put down b power four over here, and here I'm going to put down b power three. Here I'm going to put down b power two, and here I'm going to put down b power one. And let's put down plus signs in the middle. Go ahead and recap once again. Here I put down a power four, and then I reduce by one. A power three, a power two. A power one and here A disappears. Now let's start B power four from the right hand side. So we got B power four, B power three, B power two, B power one, and B disappears over here. So let me just copy this one down over here. So I can write one A power four is same as A power four plus four A power three B plus six A square. B square plus four a b power three plus b power four and let me write down these terms as well. So I'm going to write down a power four and plus b power four as well. Now let me go ahead and combine these like terms. A power four and this a power four go together. And then b power four and b power four gonna go together. Therefore, we got two a power four plus two b power four. Now let me copy down this part plus six a square b square plus this one plus four a power three b plus this one four a b power. Three. Now we can see that two is in common across the board. As you can see in this next step, I have brought this two outside as a factor. Now let me go ahead and tweak this term three a square b square. I can write this one as two a square b square plus simply one a square b square. And here in this next step, I have replaced this part by this one. And now let's focus on this part only. A power four plus b power four plus two a square b square. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square. So this part, if we apply this uh, property, that is going to give us uh, a square plus b square, and then a whole square. So therefore, we can write this thing two times. I can write. Uh, A square plus B square and then a whole square, and I'm going to write down this whole part as well. Plus this next step, I can write this A square B square as A B whole square. Likewise, between these two last term, I can factor out two A B outside, and it's going to give us A square plus. B square, as you can see in this next step. Now let's go ahead and make a substitution once again. Let me call this part a square plus b square as our x, and then this a b as our y. Then this is going to become our y, and this is going to become our x. Then this whole thing inside the bracket could be written as two times. X square plus y square plus two times x y. Now let's recall this identity once again. A plus b whole square. We are going to apply inside this bracket. So this could be written as x plus y whole. Square, as you can see in this next step. Now let's go ahead and plug back these value x. I am going to replace it by a square plus b square and y by a times b. So therefore, we can write this one as two times a square plus b square 
plus a b and then a whole square and now we can see that this whole thing has been simplified to this one so therefore our this numerator part of this expression could be written as i am going to replace it by this one so this is going to become 2 times a square plus b square plus a b whole square and then divided by 2 and now we can see that this 2 and this 2 they cancel each other out so therefore we are ended up with the square root of a square plus b square plus a b whole square and now we can see this square and square root they undo each other so we ended up with simply a square plus b square plus a times b but we know that our a value is 14 and b value is 100 and here i replace a and b values as you can see and now we know the 14 square is 196 and the square of 100 is 10,000 plus 14 times 100 is 1400. So therefore they added up to 11,596. And here's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.